This is the key question, you know, call it what you will, gender dysphoria, gender identity disorder, what actually is it? Is it just a normal variant, as we're being told today, and we're being told we're transphobic if we don't believe that? Or is it actually something quite different? Is it a form of body dysmorphia? Why are we seeing this dramatic increase in uh, these cases? And I think there are a number of reasons for that. One of them is cultural change, the new normal, a different way of thinking. The new normal is all about the destabilizing of our point of reference, the fact that now things that we can see, we can look at, I mean, we can look at a lot of these changes and say, okay, it's not normal to be teaching children as young as five years old radical things about sex, you know, uh, but somehow that became the new normal. I'm going to talk a bit about the origins of how it became the new normal. It started off in Germany. This chap, Karl Ulrichs, was a, a gay man, actually, and he described himself a female soul trapped in a male body. He was the first ever person to talk like that. And now, of course, it's quite normal, not the word soul, but, you know, a man trapped in a woman's body, woman trapped in a man's body. He invented that idea. The world is changing pretty fast, and you can be part of history, or you can let history overwhelm you and sweep you into the gutter. <laughs> and so get up and do something. Learn the issues, educate yourself, figure out who the players are, and find your voice.